Hey everybody! Welcome to the Jada and Stitches show! Today on the show, I'm going to show you guys how to make a pom-pom like this using a pom-pom maker like this. Are you ready? Let's go to the craft table! Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a pom-pom using my extra large pom-pom maker. I'm using a pair of scissors and also this nice loosely wound chunky weight yarn. You want to start by grabbing your pom-pom maker and opening up two of your quadrants. Actually you can open them all up if you want to take a good look at it. But I like to work one side and then the other. So I open up two. You're going to wrap around both sides at the same time so I know that they kind of move around. But you want to hold them close together. Grab your yarn Hold it between your thumb and forefinger just to anchor it because you only want to make a couple, couple wraps around. So what you're doing is you're going around the whole thing. And it's going to move a little bit, that's fine. You can just sort of reposition it, add a few more wraps. And then just, I like to grab the first, make the first few wraps kind of sit down around the bottom of its feet because I want to make sure I have a nice even uh, coverage of the yarn all around this entire half of the pom-pom maker. So you can now ignore this little thing. It might flap around a little bit, but it's okay. It's not gonna completely unwind. Then what you wanna do is just evenly wrap around and around and around and around <laughs> the entire pom-pom maker. Try to make sure that there's no little spaces. So the more evenly you wrap around your pom-pom maker, the better your pom-pom will end up coming out. So what I like to do is Go all the way across, at least once, and just kind of shove them all back on top of themselves, just so there's no gaps. And then I also make sure that before I've completed that, that I do a few wraps around the other feet too, because I, I want there to be nice, even coverage on this side as well. And then I just fill in what's left. so that I know my first level is pretty covered. There's a few there I can... There. And then from here, you just keep wrapping. Try to make it as even as possible. Try to make sure that you don't have any giant glaring gaps and that it's all sort of even all the way back and forth. And I wouldn't actually know how many wraps I've done here, but I can show you exactly how thick it should look when, you're fi when I'm finished this one side. Okay, that is about as thick as I'm going to make it. So if I pull out the other side, you can see how much of a half moon space there is here and how little of it is left, <clears throat> excuse me, how little of it is left showing after I finished wrapping on the first half. And this is where you transfer. So I like to finish on the opposite side of the hinge, close it up, and I just grab my string and bring it between these two pieces, just so it's kind of in the middle. This isn't really that important. It's going to get sort of snipped anyway. And then I start the whole process again on the opposite side. Once you've successfully finished wrapping your other side and you're content with the thickness of it and you think it matches the first side you did, close it up nice and tight and just snip your yarn. This doesn't matter too, too much. And now comes what I consider the tough part. So now you want to start to snip all of your yarn. So you, you keep the whole pom-pom maker closed and grab your scissors and it helps if you've got a nice sharp edge and you want to just put them in between the two pieces in the middle and just start snipping. And this is not necessarily easy. You might have to do it one little layer at a time and just work your way uh, work your way up and down. The smaller the pom-pom maker, obviously the less yarn you can put on, so the easier this part is. But you want to make sure you work away at it and keep the whole thing kind of pressed together. And uh, don't worry, it won't, <laughs> it won't unravel on you. You want to make sure that it's completely cut all the way through on both sides. Then you're going to grab another piece of the yarn, maybe, oh, no bigger than eight inches or so. And this is your big tie-off. So you grab it, 
hold your pom-pom maker and lay that string in between both halves. So right through this area here. Pull up to the other side. And then tie your first knot. You can pull fairly tautly. You'll feel the whole thing separate. And you want to make sure that you give it a nice tight tug. But not too tight because you don't want your yarn to break on you. Then tie it a second time. Nice and tight. Once you're sure that you've tied your knot nice and tightly, remember to do it at least two times, then you can start to open up your pom-pom maker. So I like to do one quadrant at a time. <laughs> and the pom-pom emerges. There, once you've got all four pieces open, you can grab the middle part and just pull the whole thing apart and a pom-pom pops out. <laughs> then you want to roll it around between your hands. This is going to make all of the little pieces kind of, um, your seam's going to disappear. If you're turning this into a keychain, you want to keep your two ties sort of uh, available because you want to be able to trace down their length to find the main tie that you built the whole pom-pom with so that you can like anchor a, um, a keychain or a bit of rope or something else there in order to turn it into a keychain. But if you're not doing that, then you can just trim it along with all the other pieces. The other good thing to have when you're doing this part is um, if you've got the, your little scissors are fine, maybe even a bigger pair of scissors is helpful too. Um, you might want to do this over your garbage can or over a plastic bag or like this, I've got sort of a piece of, of a big paper down and it helps in the cleanup because there's going to be lots and lots and lots of little tiny bits and pieces. And doing it over the garbage can is great because there's a lot of fluff that happens when you do this. So now we're just going to trim our pom-poms into a nice round shape. What you're going to sort of look for are any little pieces that sort of stick out. Try not to take out too much because you don't want to like lose the volume of your pom-pom. And then stop every once in a while and sort of roll it around between your fingers and look for those little tiny rogue bits that are sticking out a little bit taller than everybody else. And once you've got it all trimmed, you're all done. And that's how you make a pom-pom using a pom-pom maker. <laughs> I hope you had fun making these with me today. I will see you all again really soon on the Jade and Stitches show. Be sure to subscribe for more woolly fun if you haven't already. And like this video, especially if you like pom-poms. That's it for today, everybody. See you again soon. Bye. <laughs>